So I tie it into different motivational tactics. But the point being is when you're looking at a trainer and you, you're talking to them and like, oh man, you know, like I got this foolproof plan, testimonials and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just starve them to death and exercise them to death and they get shredded. There's no like after, right? There's no like, what's the follow through? What's the year follow through on that? What happens next? I, yeah. I like to get into, what do you do with your spouse? Like, do they work out? Like, do you find ways to motivate them or can you get them to like be healthier? What do you do with your parents? You know, like, how do you get them to exercise? Like, that's always my like default, like what I want to pry a little bit. When I find super testimonial people, like you can get people that are paying you an ungodly amount of money to help them lose weight because they're captive audience and they're really motivated for that period of time. It's the, the ones that are more familiar with you. Like that's the one I really kind of want to find out. And as a potential patron of some of these, it's okay to have a really carpet metalized goal and, and understanding that you're a lock in and super motivating. Like you should definitely do that. Like, I'm not trying to diminish that value, but I'm telling you there's a long effect that you need to appreciate as well. That life after that needs to be as important as the time period. That might be that, that shock to the system that you need to help initiate change. But then what? What's the long-term thing? 